Now, uh, there are two reasons why one should stay here. If your intention is just well-being, you don't have to stay here. Do a program, make use of it, go and see whatever little difference that's happened to you. See if you can in some way rub it off and people around you, see if you can make a difference wherever you are, that's good enough. If you can, even ten percent of the time in a day, if you're conscious of a few things that you have learnt and implemented, you're making a difference. But now, your goal is not just your well-being, you want to make something happen in the world. That's become important now in this generation because as I said earlier, heavens are going to crumble. The younger generations are not going to believe in your stupid heaven because even if it's real, they will not want to go there because the descriptions of heaven are so outdated, <laughs> they will ask you, is there Wi-Fi? <laughs> they will not ask you, are there virgins out there? <laughs> they want to know if there are Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes? <laughs> so, it will become irrelevant. But human aspiration to experience something more will not go. If this generation in the next twenty, twenty-five years, if we don't make a serious inward turn for this generation of people and the coming generation of people, I think percentages will work against us. In another twenty-five years, if there is no serious inward turn, which is spiritual but not religious, it is scientifically relevant and makes sense to your logic. If this is not brought about in the world, I think we would have lost the battle in twenty-five years' time because then, by then chemicals would have taken over, big time. Already, slowly, step by step, they are being legalized, you know. All I am saying is, the essence of being human is we have an intelligence about other creatures. We are capable of being aware beyond other creatures. This is not my ideology, this is the work of the evolution to push you from that level of existence to this level of existence. Because you don't know how to handle your brains, because it's bothering you so much, you want to get smashed out on the weekend and Another reason is because the heavens are crumbling. You want to have a weekend heaven at least. Thank God it's Friday <laughs> If God is what you want to meet, you must go to heaven. No, you're not any more interested in God. You're interested in the pleasures of heaven being imported here. Isn't it? You're not willing to go there anymore. You want to be here and have some bigger experience and you're not willing to work for it either, not do the right things either. So simple thing is pop a chemical and it works, but how long it works, what it does to you later is another question. If the entire population takes to it, it will become legal. So once this happens, this is a backward slide for the humanity. We don't know. Suppose, let's say, the entire population goes on hard drugs for, let's say, next twenty, ten or twenty years. How far we will slide back? How many more centuries it will take once again to recover from that? Nobody can properly estimate, but it will be a disastrous amount of time. It will not be just damage to one generation, it will be damage to many generations, at least a few generations. So before this happens, turning a large segment of people inward, that they know how to sit here and be at least blissed out for a few minutes is important. If you don't give them a taste of this, 
they will slide that way. In that context, in this generation, you want to make it happen to the entire world, then you must come here because we are planning some big things. Another reason why you may want to come here is, you are not interested in just well-being. You want to know the very source of your creation. You want to know the entire mechanics of what makes you like this. Again, you must come here. But you are just interested in well-being. You are interested in living peacefully, joyfully, contributing to the society in which you live, then there is no need to come here. You just have to live the program in your home, in your office, in your workplace, wherever you are. So if well-being is the goal, no need to come here, you can come and go, no need to come and stay here. Either you want to see that in the next twenty, twenty-five years, we really turn a large segment of population inward, then you must come. Or you want to explore not the flesh of life, you want to get to the bones of life, then you must come because that will take a different level of attention and involvement. Otherwise, come, make use of it, stay for a week and go back and see how you can make an impact wherever you are.